Hello everyone! So this is our basement and we will have our carpet replaced here but while we have the bare concrete we wanted to take the opportunity to apply a concrete sealer in this space and the purpose of the concrete sealer will be to provide a waterproof layer on the surface and the reason that we are doing is because even though we had a moisture barrier, the carpet padding underneath the carpet when this was a finished area we felt that there was always some musty smell the concrete smell that was able to make its way through the carpet and it kind of loomed around the whole basement area all year long so in order to prevent or in an effort to prevent some of the smell we wanted to apply this waterproofing sealant and the product that I'm using today will be this Ghost Shield Liquitech 9500 and it will waterproof and strengthen the concrete and this is a DIY product that you can easily apply at home. So let's go for it. So firstly, you need to clean the area. So I was sweeping the floor. And also vacuum the bit, especially at the edges. So for this product, you will have to mix in one to four ratio. So in this bucket here, I have four quarts or one gallon of water. And I'll be taking one quart of the product. And by the way, this product is a gallon, so you'll make five gallons of the solution, and that five gallon will cover a thousand square feet in two coatings. So today I'm using a roller, but you can also use a sprayer, but just because I still have the baseboards and the tech strips intact here, I didn't want to spray on those. So that's why I'm using a roller to have a better control of the application. And you just apply the product or just really wet the surface thoroughly with the product. In the instruction of the label, it says to apply a second coat before it appears to be dry. And I guess it depends on the conditions but I found, at least for me, that it dries off quite fast and also that it starts to repel water quite faster than I thought. So I was having to apply the second coat quite soon before I move on to the next area. And I only remember to use my extension from this point, so make sure you make use of it if you have one. And also you can actually step on the surface before it dries, so that's no problem. Okay, so this side is the untreated surface, and here I treated yesterday and left it to dry. And here comes the water. You can see on this surface, propelling the water, and droplets have formed. Whereas here, it's all soft and wet. Again, you can see the hair-like cracks and the pores of the concrete. Okay, one more time. Okay, so it seems it works good. Actually better than what I expected. But we shall see how long it can hold up. I had some leftover that I applied to our front porch. And this is what it looked like after a light rain. Okay, so that's it for my video. If you liked it, please be subscribed to my channel because I do all sorts of simple and easy DIY projects. Thank you for watching and bye bye!